Thrombotic disorder. In P, a blockage occurs in the pulmonary artery preventing blood flow to the lungs. Point 1 The pulmonary artery is the blood vessel that carries blood to the lungs. This blockage is called an embolism or more than one emboli. The embolus can be made of a fat droplet, an air bubble, or most commonly, a blood clot thrombus. Usually, a blood clot forms in the deep veins of the body, named a deep vein thrombosis DVT. This blood clot travels in the bloodstream, lodging in the pulmonary artery and causing an embolism. Point 1. The reduced blood flow to the lungs can cause debilitating symptoms including shortness of breath and can be life-threatening. Point 2. The signs and symptoms of P are not always the same in each person. Point 1. They usually include shortness of breath. Rapid breathing chest pain, this is usually a sharp stabbing pain that may worsen when you breathe in. Prior to P, symptoms of DVT may also occur. Other symptoms may include, 2. Rapid heart rate. Coughing and or coughing up blood fainting low blood pressure. Fever diagnosed by your doctor based on. The signs and symptom. An electrocardiogram also called ECG and a chest X-ray. This is usually done to exclude other conditions that may have similar symptoms the presence of D-dimer, a small protein fragment that is present in the blood of all DVT sufferers computerized tomography pulmonary angiography CTPA, and CT scan. A dye is injected into your blood vessels to make it easier to see blood vessels in your lungs during the scan ventilation perfusion scan. Inhaling a slightly radioactive gas that is visible during this scan can show the parts of your lungs with no blood supply. This may be caused by a pulmonary embolism. Treatment. Immediate treatment. P can be a life-threatening and fatal condition. In high-risk P patients, emergency assessment and treatment should be conducted quickly. Treatment will depend on when your symptoms started and how soon you can access treatment. Supportive treatment. If you have suspected high-risk P, you may require supportive treatments to help counteract the effects of the blocked blood vessel. You may be given respiratory support such as high-flow oxygen treatment. In addition, you may receive hemodynamic treatments such as intravenous fluids and vasopressors to help return your blood pressure back to a healthy level. Thrombolysis. During thrombolysis, also known as fibrinolytic treatment, patients with suspected high-risk P may receive a fast-acting fibrinolytic drug to quickly dissolve the blood clot. Fibrinolytic drugs activate plasminogen, the inactive precursor to plasmin, to form plasmin, an enzyme in the blood, which breaks down fibrin. This, in turn, breaks up clots. Drugs in this class include streptokinase. Non-high-risk P treatment. If you have stable P, you will likely be treated with anticoagulants. Anticoagulation medicines. Anticoagulants are types of drugs that manipulate the blood coagulation process, the so-called plasmatic coagulation. They inhibit thrombus formation, meaning that they prevent blood clots from forming too easily. Surgery Some patients with high-risk P are unable to receive conventional treatments due to the presence of other medical conditions. In these instances, an embolectomy may be performed instead, the surgical removal of a P blood clot. Inferior vena cava IVC, filter. To prevent further incidence of pulmonary embolism, the patient may be fitted with inferior vena cava IVC, filters in cases where anticoagulant treatment needs to be stopped or is not suitable. The procedure involves inserting a filter into a vein therefore preventing the large fragments that may break loose from clots from lodging in your lungs.